Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Anyone here yet? But we might as well get started because I'm going to be sat here forever. So today we're going to be having a look at Earth Defense Force 4.1. I've been playing this on and off for a few years now. It's, it's just a bit of fun. There's nothing too bad about it. Um, I will put the warning out there if you're not into giant spiders and stuff like that. Probably not going to be the one for you to watch. So, let's switch over and start getting on with it. Start Select a the, mission. Uh, start on the early missions so that well, we'll just play through. Select a difficulty. Trying hot deploying. This is a special news flash. We are broadcasting to you live from the scene. What in the world? Wait! People are being attacked by giant insects! Down! They thought to have been exterminated seven years ago, the insects actually survived! Beware the giant insects. Storm team, come with me! We gotta get out of here! Let's go! Yes, sir! That's a mistake, right? It has to be! The giant insects were supposed to be exterminated seven years ago! Go away! It's giant insects! Yes, sir! It's huge! No! The citizens are being attacked! And to start off, we brought the completely wrong weapons with us. What's going on? Where are the giant insects? Stop! No! We engaged with giant insects and defeated a number of them. What did you say? That's impossible. Let's go! Yes, yes sir! sir! My gun and I feel left out. Aren't Don't we haven't seen giant insects in seven years. Why now? They come out! The giant insects were all destroyed. The last one was supposed to have been killed in Arizona. Some must have survived, hiding out for seven years. This is the kind of day we live for! Yeah! We gotta run! Let, Let me go! Am I alive? Are you okay? We did it! All right, we got tanks! Infantry, stay close to the armor. Let's do it. Where's okay. the leader? Someone take charge. Can you stay here? Someone take charge. Enemy 
destroyed! Straight ahead! Keep the giant creatures away from the tanks! Here forever. The giant insects were supposed to be exterminated seven years ago. I here forever. We can have a decent secondary Choose weapon loadout. this time. Wing divers can equip two weapons. That one is a little bit overkill, but let's go for a mirage instead. Select a mission. Select a difficult deploying. Yes, I'm being attacked! Shoot! Save the citizens! Yes, sir! sir. An enemy nearby! Don't My gun feels way. left out! Are there any enemies? Don't Yes, sir! Your typical sort of Japanese, sort of everything, giant, just kill everything sort of game. 
Yes, I am the Ravager researcher Omara. I would like to offer advice to the soldiers. After examining dead giant insects, I found something surprising. In seven years, they have evolved and grown stronger. They are covered by a stronger shell and cannot be killed easily. But it is not a problem. EDF's equipment has also grown stronger in seven years. You can definitely beat the evolved giant insects. I wish you good luck in battle. I think it's one of those things, sort of, you know, you grow up in the 90s and there's a lot of the, uh, the anime coming over here and it's not getting eaten by that. Giant insects are stronger and more violent than ever. Uh, yeah, you get a lot of the anime coming over with girls with jetpacks on and they can fire rockets that just home in on everything. Giant insects. I mean, I quite like the uh, sort of stuff that comes through on the radio, just the sheer panic and silly words and everything. This is Ranger 16. They're picking up people like rag dolls. Are the wing divers here yet? No matter how much the giant insects evolved, they can't fly. So, yes, so we can destroy them with an air attack. If the wing divers take them down, we can win. I'm gonna be a hero. That's the word. Mission cleared. Select a mission. Select a difficulty. Deploying. You get choices of different classes of people Connect with you as well. On the scene. We have yes, confirmed surviving giant insects. Kill yes, on sight. There are I just only really enjoy playing the wing dive. Don't hold back. I do want to die! <laughs> They do indeed, yes. Yeah, we cannot argue that for you. Magazine! Reloading! Back me up! Someone cover the back! I mean just you know the whole storyline of planet is getting invaded by giant insects turn. has been done so many times in so many different ways yeah this does you know it just makes it fun get closer yes sir enemy is close there's no time to rest this is Ranger 9. We are fighting Yo, giant yeah. insects. We're being overrun. Requesting wing diver support. <laughs> this is headquarters. Wing divers are headed to the scene. Hold them off until then. Wing divers are natural enemies of giant insects. Once they get here, the giant insects are finished. Giant insects can't fly. We'll get them in one swoop. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard there's some really good uh, horror ones come out recently. I haven't really played many. Enemy! 
I would really like some We've decent well. horror games yeah, the in uh, virtual like reality, been found out. though. That would be fun. There are this many survivors. The tight insect's vital force is stronger than I ever imagined. If they were evolving underground, in a way, we won't know what to expect. We have to investigate. Yes, There's a game that came out a few years back now. How long ago was that? Probably about six, seven years ago called Outlast. If I could get that in we VR, I would have so much fun with that. Wing divers are heading over there right now. I'll say I'll pay you back someday. That's Pull the trigger. Pray that it goes well. Somebody! This is Wing Diver. We have arrived on the scene. Battle. Yes, yes, sir! Wing divers, exterminate the giant insects. Well, I am toying with the idea of possibly doing a sky run virtual reality stream as well at some point. Our defenses are weak. We need to be careful. Look, it's the wing I was quite surprised with that. I sort of played the game for that. The wing divers are here! The enemy! Yeah, I, yes, I did get Phasmophobia before I got VR, so it'll be a but I had issues with it running on my computer at the time. Um, it wasn't picking up my microphone properly, however, I have changed all my setup now, so I might be about buying it again. I think it's only about a tenner, isn't it? to keep our weight light. So we are very lightly armored. Remember, speed is life, and avoid enemy attacks. Don't hold back. Pull the trigger. I'll do it again. Help me. I don't want to die. Dan, toast that sucker. Wing divers are fighting. Ranger team, storm team. This is your chance. Exterminate all the giant insects. Coming this way. Right. Coming. I'll shoot. I need to land somewhere so I can no just what. reboot my uh, energy. The enemy found us. I feel Don't let your guard down. Sir, yes, sir! Time. Don't die on me! Okay! I mean, my only concern I'm really ready. about that? Take out next. stuff like Phasmophobia is... Yes, uh, sir! Because it's a multiplayer game. The divers are beating the giant I don't insects. really have one a group one. of people I do multiplayer with battle. because my, my time changes. Uh, even though I am UK based, I sort of half the live on American time. And there are enemies the wing divers didn't get. Engage the ones they left. Check the left. Try and, uh, yes, sir. Find a group of us that all want to have a go at a similar like time. Happened. Storm team, head to the scene. Converter is normal. What's going on? Giant insects that, I think you were There's talking no about it the other day on Limey stream, weren't you? I think, uh... I'm sure it was you that was talking to someone else about getting it. Oh, that would be cool. Um... Up steam. Eleven pound. There's been a big update. That's cool. At least they're still keeping it going. Yeah, this title runs in both standard and VR modes. Hey, well, it's payday tomorrow, so, uh... It is tomorrow, isn't it? Thursday? Yeah, maybe I'll pick it up tomorrow and, um... Drop into Limey's Discord and see... If anyone wants to play.
Oh, cool. I think, like, when I last, uh... Where's that? It's probably about six, seven months ago that I last looked at it. And it did come a little across a little bit repetitive, plus I wasn't really too sure what was going on. The only downside is that, that if I use my VR headset, I need to use the built-in microphone, which isn't too great, but... Select a mission. Select a difficulty. So, Trying higher yeah. difficulties can reward you will, with better um, weapons. I've not done that on hard dust. Okay, we'll try that one. Deploying. Well, definitely, I'll uh, see about picking it up tomorrow. This is Scout 2. We've arrived at the rescue point. There is a web strung up between the buildings. Stop! Stop! You! Over there! The thread! The citizens are being caught! I haven't heard of them. What is happening? Although I may have heard... I may have played some of those games, but it's not known. We found wing divers! Being in the group that does them. How could this happen? Wing divers! I'm caught in the enemy's trap! I can't move! I mean, unfortunately, with this game, the newest one of this game, Earth Defense Force 5, but you know, it just doesn't feel the same. Wing Diver, I'm captured by the enemy! He set a trap to catch us! I can't move at all! Hurry! Help! Help me! Need help! Hurry! This is Wing Diver! Storm Team, rescue the Wing Divers! Listen! Science is impossible, but music is setting the world. I have to achieve yeah, something. Protect you too. Yeah, sure. Good question. One of the big bread men. Select a mission. Select a difficulty. At higher de deploying. This is Diver 11! I can't move! Hurry! Rescue! Storm Team, rescue the wing divers. Hurry! Hurry! Crap! Don't come this way! 
Don't hold back! Next you time, wing divers you. are trained to defeat giant insects on land. But a giant insect that can capture wing divers has appeared. Nice to meet you. This squad will protect you. This is Ranger 6. We are fighting giant insects. They made a web and are catching people. The threat! I can't get the threat up! I'm being pulled in! Somebody give me a hand! Help! Strategic Command HQ to Storm Team. There is an isolated team. Go back them up. Give us instructions! This is O'Hara. Soldiers, I would like to name the new giant insect, Ritarius. Ritarius catches its prey in a net. Take extra caution. Rescue the people caught in the web. Don't leave them behind, no matter what. This is bad! There's no escape! I can't believe I survived. This is Ranger 7. Three men down. No, they're still alive. I'm caught in the web. Retreat! Retreat! I'm the only one that can What monsters? Reloading! Back me up! Understood! Yeah. Follow the commander! Yeah. The commander is hurt! Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Commander! Yeah. Hang on! This is the lobby. Here you can join rooms with other players. You can also create your own rooms and invite others to play. Back to the title screen, stay on single player. We say those poor insects, but... What about the poor people? Select the number of players. Select a mission. Select a difficulty. Deploying. has appeared. That's you. Down. Understood. We are Stop. part of your unit. I need help. I can't take it anymore. I'm over Stop. here. I'll show Rescue you me. I'll fill you with bullets. Not this web. I'm stuck in the this web. This party's not over yet. Yes, sir. Right. This is Ranger 6. We are fighting giant insects. They made a web and are catching the... The threat. I can't get the thread up! Uh, I'm being pulled in! Somebody give me a hand! Help! Strategic Command HQ to Storm Team. There's an isolated team. Go back them up. Enemy! That's amazing! Right side! It's nothing! This is O'Hara. Soldiers, I would like to name the new giant insect, Retarius. Retarius catches its prey in a net. Take extra caution. Going back to battle. What's taking you so Rescue the people caught in the web. Don't leave them behind, no matter what. This isn't Save me! Save me! Save me! This is Ranger 7. Three men down. No, they're still alive. I'm caught in the web. Retreat! Retreat! I haven't played the room, no. Eight men down! I'm the only one that could escape. I, um... Uh... I think I have seen it when I've been scrolling through Steam. 
Give us instructions! Enemy defeated! Okay, is that the one that's supposed to be like a, um... One down. Is it the escape rooms that you get? are being born, the speed of the bastard's progress is unfathomable. At this rate, one game not to play in VR is this nest has cool to be destroyed four. as soon as possible. You would think that would be amazing in VR, but because it was never built for it, the way the guns work, you just cannot look down the gun sights properly. I owe you my life. And since it's a game where a lot of the focus is on gunfighting, it turned into a complete nightmare. Solving no, no. different puzzles. I'll have a quick nose in a second. List. Room. Only five quid, so it better be good. But there to have a nose at later. Is this heaven? Is this heaven? I don't want to die. <laughs> has spawned there. We might have to expect more new species Ooh. coming out later. Oh, there is a danger that, that the flying thing. insects may have evolved, and they could be superior to our wing divers. We can never let the giant insects take over the Earth. Select a mission. Uh, Select a difficulty. A the higher the difficulty, game. the better the item drops. Deploying. Underground. Turn on your helmet lights! We're gonna keep going. Style. The underground entrance is supposed to be in this mall. If we leave the giant insects alone, they will continue to evolve unchallenged. We have to wipe them out before that happens. All units, begin operation. They're coming this way! We're seen! Fire! Yes, sir! Take down the enemy! Behind me! Let's go home early! Possibly! Go the trigger! You did it. If something happens, don't worry about it. Okay. Turn it. The underground entrance should be up ahead. Let's go. Yes, sir. Um, it's difficult to say, because, uh, just past the I've got quite a wide range of games that I play. Um, 
Depth crawlers can light up the area yeah, for you. I quite enjoy some colony building Call for games. Depth crawlers or, to support the assault unit. I don't know if you've heard of Factorio or what's the other one? Um, Satisfactory, where you're building um, like factories to make survival equipment. Yes, we haven't been in the in I mean, they, they're basically just, you know, slightly different versions of puzzle games. Don't really play that much uh, in the way of first person shooters. Well, the entire Fallout series I do really like. Giant insects are like a nasty virus. Birds on the line! I'll tell you! I'm also one of those ones that, yeah, I really go through different phases. If we don't do it now, mankind will be destroyed! I mean, initially, I was going to do a stream of Kerbal Space Program instead. And I loaded it up, realised that I haven't played it for... Probably about two years, and my brain just went to mush. We just have to destroy it. That's why I thought I'd go for this one because it's a nice, easy one to fall back on. Compared to this, humans are the endangered species. The ravagers. How about yourself? Have you got any particular games you enjoy? That's impossible. Maybe they're waiting nearby. Let's stop it. <laughs> yeah. Best haunted house ever. <laughs> this is Ranger 21. We're fighting a giant spider like bug. Uh, the thread! Uh, I'm coming to help you! The thread! I can't move! It's no use! They got stronger! Yes, sir! What should I take out next? I feel an enemy nearby. There's too many! I can't kill them all! Battle. This is Ranger 12! Send support! Crap! Save us! Save me! I'm trapped in thread! The number of giant insects is more than we could imagine! Permission to retreat! Hey! Hold on! Save him! Never what is this? More and more casualties! Oh nice! I haven't played the same games. Um is that anything like the old, um, oh, what was the game called? Stronghold. I think that was a sort of early 2000s game where it's a castle builder. Oh yeah, I've, uh, I've got surviving Mars. I haven't played any Frostpunk though. It keeps coming up on my recommended games, but I've just not bit the bullet yet. What is this? Just like we planned. Understood. Support aircraft whale with the 120 millimeter cannon is heading this way. It will blow the giant insects away. Good. Back I'm out of for two seconds. 
For honor! Can't find my magazine! Take a deep breath! Understood! Aim well! Dolphers damage! I'm coming to help! Attack! We have that health box. Don't come this way! Disperse! Don't freeze! Understood! But what the hell are you you're shooting at the wall? Reloading Stop now! It. No! Huh. Someone cover the back! Huh. Oh, are we gonna die here? I'm out of bullets! Back me up! Don't get your no, hustle! my magazine! Get closer! Yes, sir! Did you learn exactly. your lesson? I think that wound in particular. Loading now. It's big enough to close your eyes and shoot. That's the truth. <laughs> yes. Right, Just like stairs are the clap trap. Artillery unit dispatching as requested. Self-propelled howitzer and self-propelled rocket launcher are no. heading this way. Once they arrive, you can get fire support. Yes, sir. The fight starts now. Making promises like after this fight is over, I'm getting married. We'll land yeah, you. Yeah, that's another series I really enjoy is the Borderlands games. But equally, I quite like you know my non-combat games. Um, Transport Fever. That's one of my favourite games. No combat. I was trying to transport ship from A to B. I think that's probably a throwback to, uh, yeah, agreed the original was epic. Um, uh, transport Fever, I think it's a throwback to my childhood. Back in the early 90s, there was a game called Transport Tycoon. And at the time, both me and my granddad had our own PCs. And that was all we played. Oh, well, I think I might take a five minute break to go and make a cup of coffee. And then I'll just see what's going to happen, whether I'm going to continue this, or I might even swap over to a different game, depending what I've got in store. So, if you're still here in five minutes, see you then. If not, I'll catch you on a limey stream. Back in a moment.
Okay, we're back. We've got. Yeah, I mean, Tycoon games are hit and miss. Um, I really enjoy playing them. Uh, but even then, you see me play sometimes and it looks like I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. It's. It's that unpredictability of the games that uh, um, makes them enjoyable. Bad Games Tycoon. Oh, start your own game development studio in 1976. That looks like it could be quite fun. Yeah, completely agree. That is all genres for you. Yeah. Um, the series that I'm kind of starting at the moment is Pearlfish Plays Rimworld. And Rimworld can be such an asshole of a game sometimes. Um... I'm sort of going to try and keep that series to between 6 and 7 evening GMT. That'll be Monday to Friday because Saturday, Sundays I like to go out for a drink. Uh, what have we got installed? not going to do any VR right this moment because I just know that as soon as I put that headset on then the stream's going to go no I don't know what to stream don't know where to get the sound from hmm That's it, yeah. As you say, that's the same with all genres. As long as you enjoy it and you're having fun, that's about. games I've got on here that I just don't really play that much. Oh, most of them aren't even installed. And so Satisfactory I do enjoy. don't know if I've got mods installed in the, at the moment or not, which could be a little bit game breaking if, as they've just updated. like Satisfactory Mod Manager. Oh, yes, we do. Agreed. I never actually played Space Engineers. Um, I've been told that I should. It just... 
I think at the time it looked a little bit too much like Minecraft for my liking, and I'm not a Minecraft fan. Right. Load of stuff installed. Can it automatically update them for me? Yes. Well, satisfactory, I just, I love the world on it. It's just so nice and chilled. Sorry at all. hours I've got on that. 550 hours. Uh, there are enemies in Satisfactory, it's just they're few and far between. They're, they're enough to be a headache, but not too much bad way. Like Borderlands, there's a backdrop. Uh, crash. Good start. I don't think this is going to happen, is it? Can we just game isn't running? Stop running. It lies. I've not uh, not seen any of the comics. I did play the like interactive storylines they did. No, we're not going to play Satisfactory because that's being a pain. Okay, what can we try instead? Not going to play any Borderlands for the moment because I'll save that for my later stream. Oh, let's have a mess around on Terror Attack. Always a fun little game. Uh, a bit like playing Lego on here. Tanks, blow some stuff up. Get blown up.
That's another one where I keep thinking about picking up is Project Zomboid. It won't let me select. Um. Two monitors are never enough. Didn't just crash. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think they, they still uh, do updates for it quite often as well, I think. I, well, don't quote me on that without checking. Yeah, it is just a fun little game. Pick up, play it for a couple hours. Switch it off again, leave it for months. Ever played this game or is it just being played? some energy. Come to the ground somewhere. That's why. That block out the way. Uh, it's... Yeah, honestly, it's um, it is a, it's a good fun little game. It's I really do just compare it to playing Lego. Oh, Lego, you don't really need too much patience for. You just kind of pick your Lego up, play with it for a bit, put it away again. Wrong one. Forward. Uh, don't get me wrong, you can get some really, really complex designs on it, but get really simple designs as well. Why are you still not letting me dig into the ground there? That's the idea of one of the up... Oh, there we go. Now I can recharge. That energy to fill up.
think the only real issue with Terror Attack is there's not sort of any end game sort of thing. Why nine times out of ten, if I'm gonna play, I'll just hit new game and start again. Die. Is there? It's when I say I'm, I've never really been into SCP. I understand that it has got a huge following behind it. Uh, yeah, the other day we were trying to convince one of the conspiracy nuts that SCP was real. Not that we do anything childish like that, but... That brat. Beam... Gig. Rift, yep. Well, you may see a stream of this at some point. I'll need to... When I do the stream of it, I'll have to do it where I've had a chance to set everything up properly. But I guess I'll do a blind playthrough on it. I haven't got a clue what I'll be doing. Yeah, we would be completely. There's uh one of the little bit crazy guys um called Von Hilton. Not sure if you know him. That's the guy that I put in my pinned message. I'm waiting to go live because he's going down at the minute that I'm waiting to find out about. But yeah, there's uh or you've probably seen her on Limey's stream is Bela Vendetta, the girl with the green hair. She covers a lot of the Von Hilton stuff. And the other day people were trying to convince him that SCP is real. I mean he's a flat earther and He's seen aliens even though space doesn't exist. All that kind of crap. That weapon there. Oh, he is worse than PJC that. Proper, proper worse. But as well, it's because he's not only is he into all of the all of the crap, he's actually a really horrible person as well. At least with PJ seeing that, he's into all of the crap, but he's a really nice, friendly guy. I quite like him. I find him quite funny. But again, it's just because. 
even though he's in towards the crap, he's polite about it and friendly. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> right. So let's. Uh, the concept is is because, well, we all know what flat Earth looks like, and supposedly. Um, So, so you've got the infinite plane and you've got flat earth on there in a dome then there's another flat earth over there another one we're surrounded by flat earth like bubble wrap um and there's water above all of the domes and aliens aren't from space because space isn't real. Aliens have come from another version of Flat Earth. Yeah. When you're on that kind of level, it really is. But he did go outside his trailer the one day and he saw a grey alien and he took a shot at it. Which is why there's now a very good uh, YouTube channel called Grey Alien Von Took a Shot At. Uh, again, along with space not being real, he also designed a space stealth superiority fighter, which NASA stole the plans for and then sold to Lockheed Martin, which became the F-117 stealth uh, fighter. Yeah, proper cray cray. And again, I, you know, a big part of me in the community is, um, well, not really in the community, but what brings me to the community is the flat earth stuff. Just because. I found out about it in probably 2014, 15. Damn it. It's gone past the year 2000 and there are people that think the earth is flat. What the hell is going on there? So I sort of came into the community mostly just lurking in the background watching videos. And it's that difficult thing where that earth is pretty harmless in itself but if you believe the earth is flat we'll believe just about anything else which does then lead on to um, without saying the words but certain health issues which have been going on over the last few years and all of the conspiracies surrounding that and that's when it goes from being entertaining to, hang on a minute, people are getting hurt. That's not so much fun anymore. <coughs> exactly, exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's like, you know, watching your mate have a few beers and getting drunk and making a bit of an idiot of themselves or, you know, getting high and being a bit funny with it and then seeing your mate doing math. You know, suddenly that's not fun anymore. It's not funny. That's serious where people get hurt. Come on, shoot that thing. Stop circling around me.
No, I won't. I, I've been sucked into different conspiracies before. Um, and admittedly, it's stuff that's got me through their excellent abilities to tell stories mixed with my ignorance of the subject. But I think we're all guilty of that at some point or another. It's the being able to come out the other side of it, put your hands up and go, Ugh, that was a bit silly. Learned from that. But then that could just be because I'm indoctrinated by the masses. And that's probably more likely it. Having all these wheels on why I can't turn. Adding more. I assume you spent time hanging about in the conspiracy side of stuff, but not in the but the sort of debunking community. And that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. 100% on that. I mean, I've always been quite, uh... No, there's that religious side of it of, you know, oh, well, you just believe you're a little insignificant thing in the middle of an infinite universe, blah, blah, blah. Wait, hang on a minute. I'm a complex life form with my own thoughts and abilities in a completely insignificant universe. That makes it pretty special. I messed up my wording on that. Um, yeah, it's that sort of concept that the fact that for how insignificant we are in the universe... Well, actually, that's pretty special because we are still here. We are part of it. We're not just trying to look for an easy answer out. As a species, we realize everything is so much more complex than what we really imagine. And that strive to continue to get better and to try and understand that world. Well, that's a goal we can all... Yes. It would have been so much easier if I just said that instead. Our insignificance gives us... It's, uh... It, I can't think of the guy who'd done the quote. Um... That there's only two possibilities. Either we are alone in the universe... Or we are not alone. Both are equally as terrifying. Kind of annoys I can't think of who's done that quote, but it's one that I really do love. But at the end of the day, both of those choices are pretty terrifying. weapons firing into the back of other weapons. That block, because I'm just acting. That block can go back.
I also like uh, there's a quote from the movie Contact where she says there must be life out there because if not it's an awful waste of space terrible pun but with such a kick Agreed. Yeah, I completely agree. It's that concept of, uh, suppose there's intelligent life around a star 100 light years, light years from here. And we send out a message now. By the time we get a response, Probably going to have blown ourselves up. You ever seen uh, the film Idiocracy? That says a lot about human intelligence. When it came out, it was a brilliant comedy. Fortunately, now it's more like a documentary. Ah, uh, yeah, I... I highly recommend it. It is. It's. It's really fun. It's really silly. Um. I basically, put uh, without any spoilers because it's kind of the summary of the film. They take the most average man and woman from the world today, and they put them into a military experiment. Um, for a cryo sleep chamber, and something goes wrong, and they don't wake up until 500 years later. At which point, they're now the most intelligent people on the planet because everyone else is now so stupid. And yeah, it kind of goes from there. It is, it is, oh yeah, I think it's really funny. But the more and more I watch it and watch what's going on in the world, the more and more I see it coming true, which, funny. aren't I? Big yellow, find the geocorp mine. That way. Ho oh, ho, over here. Oh, hello there, my fine fellow. My name's Big Pete, famous and hard-working miner on the planet. Why am I laughing around here, then? Well, yes, I'm just taking a well-deserved break, of course. Hey, you look like you could do with some good old-fashioned manual labour to brighten up your dull day. Why not harvest some resources and bring them back here? 
something in it for you too. And we'll sing. That's an. Not seen it. I do like that quote. I do like that. I think it is just like an extended form of, uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. With our current intelligence and knowledge and the things we're able to build techno technologically wise. Oh, you need to be responsible with it, because if not, you're going to hurt yourself. No, not a dodgy name whatsoever. And uh, one of the other guys on here is Crafty Mike. Who's... doesn't sound that dodgy. Uh, Crafty Mike. Never hard day's work accomplished. You were just sat there taking my stuff. Oh, I get my own Geocorp license. Coming. Drill. Oh, cool. Must say, I am guilty that I don't read very often. By not very often, I mean I don't read at all. Unless it's instruction manuals or encyclopedias or shit like that. You know, I just never really got on with fiction so much, but, uh, information, but as much of it as he can in front of me. Best kiddo, over here. What's up, kiddo? Good crafty mic. Crafty Mike's the name, and today's your lucky day. My base came under attack. And you get to help with repair work. Actually, it's conveyor. I've done it myself, you see. But I can't move as freely as I used to these days. Excellent. Imagine all the block bucks I'll earn from selling resource chunks. Yeah, it is quite easy to get out and have a habit like that. Refinery. Basic trunks into something shinier. More expensive. Take a look.
Hey, Trey, kid, how are you? the idea that I might end the stream in a few minutes go get some other bits done uh, that one twist um, yeah I may end up running a stream later on and have a try of that SCP game. Of course, there's not enough parts to connect those two together. That's annoying. I, uh... I know what we can do. That on that side. That. That onto that side. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe later on I might see if I can set the VR up and get that working on with the ability to stream. If I can, I might be able to play some of the SCP game. Cool. Yeah, um, well, just keep an eye out for if I go live, you might see SCP. And Phasmophobia, I'll probably pick that up tomorrow. Um, let's do... Does the bank say? Oh, also, thank you for subscribing. I just see that on the screen. I think I've got enough money in the bank to get it today. Yeah, I might, yeah, free is always the best price, but I might well pick up Phasmophobia this afternoon, because I've got the money in the bank there, I get paid tomorrow, so that only needs to last me today. Boom, cool. Right, dude, thank you for tuning in, and for anyone that's watching this at a later date, thank you for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it. If not, leave a comment down there to let me know why you didn't enjoy it. I'm only just starting out, so any tips will be appreciated. Thank you very much, I'll catch you all later.